This is the Emnet Reads RS2. Not plus, not free, not ne nothing. This is the Emnet Reads RS2. And it works. <laughs> And this is how it breaks. And it works excellent with AppGloss survey wizard. It does. There can always happen something that you can't make a Bluetooth connection with the Amulet Reads RS2 Ooh. and AppGloss survey wizard. So then there are some options what you can do. Number one, just like this. You can trash it out of the window or you can fix it. To fix it, you need, of course, the Amulet Reads RS2. You need a USB-C cable and you need a laptop. Meanwhile, let me show you where you can find the USB connection on the Amulet Reach RS2. It is one of the uh, blue covers and it says USB. Once I open it, you can see the USB connector inside. Meanwhile, Hanno is playing on his laptop and I am going to insert the USB in the USB connector. Here we are on my laptop. We have the Read Firmware Flash tool and there are some steps that we need to do. First, it's to select the Read model. In this case, it's Read RS2. Then we can click on Next. So we are in step 2 and step 2 has some other steps and the first one is to turn the Mnet Reads RS2 off but it's already off. So we don't have to do that anymore so then we can do something else which is the next step. <laughs> that is to press and hold the power button then we have to put the USB cable inside the laptop. And then it starts blinking and the Reads RS2 is connected. Is it blinking? It's blinking. Now it's selecting the firmware we can use the download gg and then we can click flash there is a device initialization 100 and then there is firmware flashing that can take a well. while so ray can take a nap one two three yes we're yes. going to reboot the device it needs to do this right don't drop the receiver. <laughs> and yes, it's done! Oh yes, it's done! Oh yes! So now this Mnet Reach RS2 is on. But like this, it just has like the settings that come from the factory. So it won't work yet with Abdos Survey Wizard. Let's get the phone. There's the phone. Here we have the app Amlet Flow. And Amlet Flow won't show anything because we are not in the same Wi Fi network as this Amlet Reach RS2. So we go to the settings of my phone and we click connections and Wi Fi. And there, there is the Reach. We click on it and it's connected without internet. So we only want to connect this time and now we go back to Amlet Flow and there it is the reach so nice it's a setup reach so we click setup reach you can give it a name but we skip this time and then we need to connect to a available Wi-Fi network so we connect with the iPhone of Ray <laughs> Of course. If the Mnet Reads RS2, this one, will connect with Ray's iPhone. Ooh. To make it even interesting, I have to connect my phone as well with Ray's iPhone. So we go back to Wi-Fi and we get iPhone of Ray. And he has to fill in the password again. <laughs> Done. Well, then we go back to Mnet Flow. We click refresh and there, there is the reach and we can continue with the setup of the reach. And the reach is set up since we already installed the last firmware. So we can click on the buttons and then we can go to reach. 
to make this reads rs2 work with abdos of avis that you go to the correction input which is a bluetooth and then you the base output we won't use so we can turn it off then we go to settings we go to bluetooth we make it discoverable we click on save can you follow this yes then position streaming one is a bluetooth and position streaming we won't use so we can turn that one off and now the mnet reads rs2 is completely configured that you can use it with Airbus Survey Wizard. To make sure that you can use it, you have to make a Bluetooth connection. So we go to Bluetooth and there should be a reach somewhere. There is the reach. It says pairing and pair. And then we can start up Airbus Survey Wizard. Then you can go to the connect screen, click connect, find your reach and we select other and we click connect. And if Ray wants to hold it outside of the window, maybe we get a position. You never know. We already have a position, so we know that it works. We think that this solution is better than just throwing the Amnitreats RS2 out of the window. It will save you at least 2000 euros, dollars. Definitely. If you want to know anything else about Abloss, Amlit or GPS surveying, then watch this video.